Hello, this is Pew Pew Choo Choo, and today we are going to take a look at Panzer Corps, a turn-based war game published by Matrix Games and developed by the Lord's Games Studio. So in particular, we're going to take a look at its new standalone expansion called Africa Corps, and I'm just going to play its uh, first mission inside the campaign to show you guys. So let's uh, let's begin. And well, as you can see, this is one of the most highly polished war games out there, and it's also one of the most easily accessible ones out there as well. So, if you have played Panzer General back in the day, I know it's been a long time since 1998, well, this is uh, pretty much the successor to it, and I think it's one of the most uh, well-built war games I've seen in a long time. Now, some of you may know I did a playthrough of Steel Panthers a while back, and if you've enjoyed that, I think you'll be very interested in this game, especially if you found that a little too complex, but you were still interested in uh, playing it. Well, so, as you can see, I'm just uh, really just moving my units around and attacking just by simply clicking on uh, these, pati these uh, particular British units. I can just move my troops and click, and things happen. In this case, a artillery piece blows up. So it's simple if uh, if we really wanted it to be. I mean, I can of course just go through the game like this, just kind of knowing your basic uh, things about strategy games, such as uh, you know the terrain underneath your units affect their performance and such. Stuff like that, you know, basic stuff. I mean, even I think Advanced Wars does that. And well, if we if we really wanted to, we can play it like that, where we don't need to go into the finer nitty gritty pieces of the game. And well, that's the beauty of it. If we really want to play around with the higher things, we can. And well, we can wait until we're ready. So I think this is a really good gateway into uh, war gaming. So let's uh, let's go forward and just kind of see what uh, what is there for us. Now in this mission all we really had to do is just capture these different settlements. I'm not going to spoil anything but our mission does change in the middle of it and you know things like this, flavor, flavor events do happen and stuff and such like that which makes this uh, even better. So for now we're just going to be advancing up the coast and taking all of these towns um, if I really wanted to get into exactly how uh, combat is conducted in this game, well you can see that I'm often surrounding my units and this is because it gives a uh, bonus to me and a penalty to them. So, let's say if I was uh, a very, a very hardcore war gamer, I guess expert on wargaming, if I really wanted to get into like the individual calculations that were going on under the hood, well I, I can, I mean all I really had to do is just fight a unit, if I say, oh wow that was actually a pretty nice hit, it took out half the health, half the health of that unit. So if I really wanted to I could actually open up this menu here and actually give me the breakdown of uh, what is happening which is uh, pretty neat. So at this time, I think uh, what I should do is uh, well, actually buy a new unit, and because this is a campaign, I can actually do that. So, for example, if I want a new anti-tank unit, I can actually buy that for uh, the purposes of this playthrough. I want more artillery, so I can buy a unit and pluck it down, and, well, Inside the campaign, all of our all of our units actually level up. They gain experience, and one of the cool things about this game is that units actually gain heroes and awards and stuff and such like that, which uh, heroes affect your unit's stats, which is pretty cool. So later on, I'll actually show you guys uh, my my core force inside the regular campaign. I'll be doing a like miniature walkthrough uh, later on where I'll show you guys how to uh, kind of get some bonus stuff for your campaign, so to speak. Of course, that is later on. Well, at the moment, all of the, all of the complex tasks and information is actually
actually dealt with on this uh, little right hand side menu you can see here um, in this turn screen uh, we can also you know change your objectives a little bit you got your marginal objectives and your decisive victory objectives so you can kind of uh, pick and choose I mean if you want to take your time you don't want to give yourself too much of a challenge you can of course go for uh, the low hang fruit and kind of play at your own speed really there's no rush or anything and just kind of finish the mission before the turn before the scenario ends however if we were uh, say a really experienced war gamer we can you know go forth and conduct uh, major operations and such which require a ton of planning if we wanted to and I think uh, that's actually a really satisfying portion of uh, war games now the game does touch on some you know uh, finer details in regards to like realistic play such as fuel ammunition and strategic redeployment for those who are wondering when you move troops a long distance that's kind of why they become trucks or half tracks we don't have transformers so that's kind of the, the cool little nitty-gritty things and well the game is built on different difficulty levels so to speak it's in a sense right now I'm playing on a uh, fairly low difficulty I mean oh yes, we did. It's perfect. Well, I'm playing on the second easiest difficulty which means the AI will be a little laxer it's not um, for example if I played on regular which I was doing the first two times the AI would uh, kind of viciously hunt my units down for example see this uh, little Panzer uh, tank destroyer which has 5 HP well that's pretty vulnerable so the AI would just constantly hammer that one unit which with its uh, aircraft and such until it was taken down and it would it really put up a good fight so I can I can kind of change that however I've played enough war games to you know be able to manage my logistics and that's why I, I really don't know if you can see this clearly with YouTube video quality I probably with uh, 1080p which I w well you probably should already be on that um, on the right hand side my ammunition and fuel counts are actually also there I mean so I, I kinda had to watch out for uh, running low on ammunition especially with these artillery units and I also had to watch my uh, fuel consumption especially with airplanes or else they fall out of the sky and then they die and it's not very pretty well anyways I can just kinda continue moving on like that and well I'm not gonna spoil anything on this particular mission on the first uh, mission set the campaign so I'm actually gonna leave right here and I'm gonna load up my own campaign game which I've been just kinda going through and later on in a separate video I'll show you guys well a few uh, different tricks inside the first few missions inside the base game which I think you'll like so um, on this little menu here I can actually deploy my troops in a quite a lot of different positions here I can put them say down here in the south if I really want to or up here in the north and depending on how I choose uh, my unit positions that will give me a different uh, outlook on the battle and a different play style really so these are troops that have made it here with me and uh, as you can see uh, their experience are denoted by their stars and well I have a few elite units here with the camouflage such as uh, this particular tank and I believe I also have an infantry squad somewhere around here I, th I think this unit here so there's uh, this that kind of aspect if you go through the campaign you can get elite units like that and for the purposes of this mission I'm just gonna try to randomly deploy and show you guys once um, some of the things that can occur well on my units I can actually have heroes I mean I have this handsome man right here Christian Huber which gives me one attack he probably stares down his opponents and that's uh, probably how he does it he's the guy with the grenade stares him down and uh, well, all of these things kind of play into the the campaign, and 
it really creates an attachment to your troops and once again only if you want to I mean you can play scenarios without this aspect if you don't feel it is right for you in addition there is a vast amount of military knowledge here you can see that uh, the campaign is not uh, direct there are multiple different paths so for example I'm definitely going to be covering the first scenario uh, Poland which if we get a decisive victory we go into Norway and if we get a marginal victory uh, we'll be going to the low countries so I'll definitely be showing you guys that later on and these campaigns are all like that they're not uh, set up so that they're linear and you get uh, a lot of good information about vehicles and stuff just to enhance your knowledge about this time period if you wanted to in the library as well as uh, there is multiplayer it is fairly active I'd recommend playing this with uh, Slytherin's uh, little interactive PBM manager play by email manager and that covers uh, the gist of Panzer Corps and Panzer Corps after Corps in total, the expansion and the base game comes with 50 missions, 26 inside the base game covering uh, your France, your Poland, and your invasion of the USSR, as well as a few uh, what-if missions such as, the Al such as the invasion of the United States, and um, Africa Corps covers the historical route of battle as well as a few uh, speculative missions going into British India, East Africa and such. Which is all pretty cool. In addition, uh, there is bonus DLC that you, you can pick up for $5 which uh, consists of specific groups of missions for each year. Which is uh, also pretty cool to check out. They're priced uh, re very fairly. I mean it's five dollars for about 13 scenarios or at least that's the one that I looked at which I think is very fair for that price. And well that covers the gist of Panzer Corps. Uh, leave me a comment telling me what you think. Like the video and subscribe because later on I will be posting that AAR on the first mission inside the original game so I will see you all people later on and I would uh, recommend you to buy this game if you have any interest in wargaming. Bye bye!